it's user creating user logins and roles we created one uh, example in the previous session also session 10 the session 11 is in continuation creating windows authentication login sql server authentication login creating database user create login using windows authentication with the tsql granting permission revoke permission deny permission which means uh, in continuation with that session probably uh, that will also clear uh, the doubt of authentication how we are doing the authentication how the users are created and how we are authenticating in the sql server 2019 how do we create that creating windows authentication login in the object explorer this is a walkthrough of the lab walkthrough of the demo i demonstrated in the last lab in the objects explorer expand the folder of your service instance then right click on the security folder point to new and then select login now you'll feel connected that yes ram you already demonstrated that then in the login a new dialog box in the general page enter the name whatever name you want a new name alternatively select search to open the select uh, user or group dialog box we are using windows authentication login remember that we are selecting windows authentication therefore we are mapping a windows user to sql server login that's what we are trying to do because in order to authenticate using windows we need to select windows user here that's why we are typing the username or searching windows user and this is exclusively for windows authentication to create a login based on windows principle select windows authentication to create a login that is saved in SQL Server database, select SQL Server authentication. In the password, you enter the password. To enforce the policy, you select the other policies. Then from the default database list, a default database list, you can select the database to which this user will be placed. Uh, in case master database is by default uh, selected. Then server roles we assign to this user. This is a walkthrough on the demo as I said. You select what server roles you assign to this user. Then we do the user mapping. The user mapping page lists all possible databases and the database roles, mem role memberships on those databases that can be applied to the login. Means adventure works. What role you can do, you this user will get on this particular database role. This is database 11 database roles. Remember that. You select any database and you assign any database role uh, specific to that particular database from the bottom window that appear at the bottom. So user mapping. Map will allow the login to access the database listed. Database list the databases available. User specify the database user to map to the login. By default, database user has the same name as the login name. Default schema, by the way, it can be different. Default schema, specify the default schema of the user. Guest account enabled for, you specify that. And database role membership, what all database role you want to assign. Then in the securable page, it will list all possible securables and permissions on those securables that can be granted to this login. Login name and what all securables are and what all permissions you want to grant with grant option and deny what do you want to deny to create a database using tsql is also easy use database and then create user username for login login name this is the login name of windows system so user this is sql server and this is windows server create a login using windows authentication with the tsql so the same statement windows domain account name this is how we are creating this so create login domain name slash login name from windows if it is a domain name if you are following that on the standard bar select new query and this example code can be used in the syn syntax creating a login using sql server authentication with sql tsql create login login name with password password name must change option this was the extra feature which was there on the page and credentials restrict faculty so basically 
this user it create this user for sql server using security credentials the user login starts with password but that password must be changed after the first login the simple example permissions we can grant permission with the way we have been doing and with the standard sql which is available for all rdp messages no difference here same process grant all or specific privileges then permission list one by one column one by one on object or securable to principal with grant option as principal i mean the same syntax the general syntax is more or less same revoke can be done with revoke command revoke statement revoke grant option for what all privileges you want to revoke on the specific object from the user and cascade means uh, you know uh, same thing we do in oracle also that if this user has granted this role or this permission to somebody else take back from that user as well that is cascade deny deny a permission to a principal this is basically a, a set concept we have a set a role for example we a role have five permissions five privileges inside them now one way is that and you want to assign uh, let's say out of five or out of 10 you want to assign eight of them to a specific user one way is that you list all eight privileges one by one in your uh, grant statement second option is that instead of uh, mentioning all these one by one you grant the entire role which has all the 10 privileges out of 10 you don't want to assign or uh, grant two specific privileges because you want to grant eight privileges out of these 10 so those two privileges from the group you can use to deny so deny those privileges out of the given role or given list of privileges that will assign the rest eight to that other sometimes we get confusion that why do we have deny by default everybody is denied so this comes when you are using role actually that makes sense when we assign privileges and on a specific thing so we uh, use them from the group we deny from the group it actually prevent that principal from inheriting the permissions through its group or role membership means if the user is a part of the group and the group is assigned some privileges so this will is the exception this is for that prevent from inheriting those permissions through the group or through the role membership permissions from management studio so go to the user click on settings and then we have permissions tab use right click on the user and then permissions and here you will select all the permissions uh, on all the users and objects and everything i mean all the securables that's all for this session thank you very much